Hey everybody, this is Brandon, and we're doing another episode of the Outdoor Home Cooking Show. Today we're going to be doing uh, what everybody loves that I do, apparently, is the, uh, what I call Brandon boogies. Uh, they're just basically hamburgers, and we're going to be, uh, well the size of them right now, we're going to do about a third pound burgers, and we're going to be using the Bold and Beefy Rub. Uh, it's from Blue's Hog. It's a really good rub for burgers. Um, I mix it inside the meat. Uh, before I make my patties and then I will sprinkle a little bit on top which you can already see I've already done uh, but they're pretty good sized burgers um, what I like to do a uh, technique is do these indirect so as you can see we're doing it on the extra large egg today I have it at about 350 and we have the convector in place so it should be sitting right where we want it it's about 350 uh, if it's 400 it's fine but 350 is kind of where you want to shoot for we're going to be doing them indirect. Um, they'll probably take about 20 minutes, uh, but we'll check them and we'll you know, probe them and, and find out what temperature. But we're trying to hit 140 to 160 range, depending on what, what kind of uh, doneness you're wanting. But we'll go ahead and start putting these on. Uh, like I said, this is the extra large egg, so you can put quite a few burgers on here. Um, if you wanted to do smaller burgers, you absolutely could, but we're feeding the staff today so we're going to be getting them some, some nice sized burgers. And you can use whatever season you want but this I definitely would highly recommend this gold beef. It's just a tremendous uh, flavor. It's, it's got a higher salt content but it's uh, it's got a real good mixture of uh, different seasons. around so we can get them all fit on there. We will also be uh, putting cheese on this and we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to probably toast the buns as well so it makes a really good burger. Spread them out enough so they're not touching, you don't want them touching too much. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and shut this, and we will just check them here in about uh, probably 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and I'll probe them and, and see where we're at. You don't need to flip them at all. Um, just let them go. That convector is almost like an oven, so they're good and cooked all the way around, and uh, they should be all evenly cooked. Uh, that's the great thing about the egg is it cooks really evenly. So uh, we'll check back in in about 15, 20 minutes and see where we're at. Everybody, we are back. Uh, we're going to check on our Brandon boogies, and I think they've been on for about 15 minutes now, uh, going on 20. Uh, like Whoa. I said, it's sometimes 15 to 20 minutes. It just depends um, on the size of the burger. But we're going to temp them real quick. The so egg's still holding at 350, as you saw. And let's try this first one here. We're looking at about 136. We'll do another one. That one's 148, that's right on the money. So I'm gonna go ahead and put cheese on, on half of these. And then that way, it'll allow it to melt. And uh, it'll still be cooking in the process. And this is uh, sharp cheddar. It's, uh, it's a real good cheese for hamburgers because it's kind of salty and it melts really quick. I kind of like to have my cheese just envelop, develop, envelop the uh, whole burger, just kind of melt all over it. Makes it really nice. So I'm going to just do those, got them out there. I may add some here. Just to, I mean, who doesn't like cheese? If you don't like cheese, it's just weird. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. That dome's going to radiate that heat down and melt that cheese. And then we're going to come back, uh, we'll check them probably just another minute or two, and we'll double check and make sure the cheese is melted, and we will get to the buns and build a burger. Okay, everybody, we are back, and we're going to check these. They've been on for about two minutes with the cheese on, like you saw before. Uh, let's see what we're looking like. Yep, that's exactly what you're wanting. They're all melted. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some of these off and build a burger for you guys. Now, like I said, I temp these at about 140. 
Um, if you want more of a medium well done, I'd probably recommend getting up to about 160 on the burgers. These are pretty thick too, so just uh, if you don't have a instant read thermometer, uh, we carry them here. We got a lot of different options, um, but I would definitely recommend one. You don't want to overcook your burger, but. And for the people that want them done a little bit more, I will uh, leave a couple of these on. Okay. And I will get a bun here. And obviously, it's probably not your first time making a hamburger, but um, you can add whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to pick a good one for myself. <laughs> And Chef I'll, gets first pick. Yes. And then uh, I'll probably just add mustard. I, I don't like a lot of stuff on my hamburgers. I think the meat, I like to taste the meat. I don't really want a bunch of other extra stuff on there. So I'll probably just do some mustard. And I wish I had a knife. I'd cut this in half for you guys so I could... Uh, chop it with uh, that spatula? Chop it. <laughs> Let's try it. It worked. So you can see the doneness. Look at that. There you go. All and the way that through. That is juice. It's beautiful. That's good. So I'm going to try a bite of this and tell you what I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Um, and literally all I did was add some seasoning to the meat. I think this is 80-20 blend. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Um, it's just ground chuck. 80-20 blend. And... Um, I mean, you really can't go wrong there. It's perfectly done. It's really juicy. And I didn't add a bunch of stuff on top, but obviously if you want that, you can. But once again, this is uh, Brandon with Outdoor Home, uh, one of the Outdoor Home cooking shows. And uh, this is the Brandon Boogie, as I like to call it. And if you guys <laughs> want to try it, if you guys ever need any tips or anything, just give me a call. We're down here at Outdoor Home, and uh, we'll help you out. All right, now we're going to go with Kenny, and we're going to go inside the store. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's hard to think about what I was going to say after I'm ready for one of those burgers. But. <laughs> so normally we'd have lots and lots of thousands of people here doing all the sampling. That's not happening uh, this year. We're all kind of bummed. Actually, we were looking, but yep. I'm going to be bummed that I'm not getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning on Saturday to come out and set this up because it's such a good time. But we went ahead and set up our regulants. We've got our inflatable. We just ran out of gas, of course, just like we did yesterday right as we started the video. So... We'll come out and refill the generator, get him fire back up. You want to come out and take a look inside the ambulance if you've never seen. It's actually kind of cool. We've got all the LED lights inside. You can see exactly you know, how this works when we go on the, take this on the road. It's, it's been pretty quiet this year, but good chance if you're an egghead, you got a photo op opportunity, you can come out here and take a picture with it. Take a picture with the inflatable once we get that blown back up. We're just not doing the sampling. We're doing everything virtual this year. Keep everybody safe. So. But yeah, we got uh, the show still has to go on as far as the uh, sale is still going on. And this year it's now three days instead of just Saturday. Uh, so rather than pack the store on, on just Saturday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, today's Thursday, we've got the 10% off everything Big Green Egg in the store, including the actual Big Green Egg itself. If you didn't get one of those Egg Fest eggs, you can still save 10%. We've got everything laid out, all the new stuff easy easy uh, to find on the tables throughout the store so whether it's the newest accessory whether it's you want to upgrade to a table maybe you've had an egg for a long time you want to upgrade to a to a new table the modular one of the hottest things right now is the modular setups so you can actually literally piece by piece build your outdoor kitchen 100% custom and you're gonna save 10% off today tomorrow and Saturday three days only 10% off on everything every accessory known Span for the big green egg is here. So if you've seen some of the videos and maybe you're missing some of the accessories in the videos, now would be the time. You're going to save 10%. We'll be here in the store. Aaron and myself and a bunch of other eggheads will be in the store all three days. So if you've got questions, we'll make sure that you have everything you need to, to cook whatever it is you're inspired to cook. So don't miss the opportunity. We also have, uh, if you want to wear a mask and you got to wear these around, around town, we've got big green egg masks. Nice look, super comfy. Uh, we've got some of these to give away. First come, first serve, one per person. All you eggheads, come get your mask. This is 100% free when you walk in the store. We'll give you one of these. We've only got a limited number for each day. So come get this, come see us. 
Keep calm and egg on. We'll see you Thursday, Friday, and Saturday.